you can integrate SpeechGen with N8N in three ways. Simplest method is for voiceover of short texts up to 2,000 characters. There are three simple nodes here. First, a node for an HTTP request. Let's open it. Here you need to select the post method. Specify the URL for short text here, and then send body. Select JSON. You need to pass your token and email in the body. Go to SpeechGen and generate a new key. Create a key. Copy it. Paste it. You also need to specify your email. Copy it. Paste it. Next, you need to specify the voice. You can copy the voice from the interface from the general list or get it via this link. If you put EN at the end, only English voices will be displayed. If you don't put anything, all voices will be displayed. Among these voices, you can choose the one you need. The link to all voices is in the FAQ section. So, I chose the Colby voice. Next, we need the text. I'm pasting some example text. I've pasted the text for a health app advertisement. Next, specify one of three formats. These are MP3, WAVE, or OGG. And we select the JSON response format. Next, save fields. We need to find the status and file. The last node retrieves the file from the previous one. This is a very simple setup. Let's see how it works. The script sends the text in a request. Everything is voiced. The file has been received. You can listen to it here. Meet Vitapulse, the AI-powered health companion that... Look, here SpeechGen synthesizes an MP3 file. It returns status 1. It returns an ID. Here we get status 1 or minus 1. If it's 1, it's OK. Minus 1 means an error. Here's the link to the file. And this node simply takes this file and downloads it. Next, the second connection method. Use this method for text over 2000 characters. Here you also need to specify the token. Go back to the profile to view and copy it. Token email is already set. That's it. This node sets a long text. I'm pasting a longer text here. Here also MP3 and JSON format. Next, Edit Fields accepts the task ID and status. Then the Wait node. Every 20 seconds, it will check if the audio file is ready. This get node requests the result. Look, here's the post request and the URL. Specify the token here as well. I'll specify it now. Token. Email. The node checks if the status is 1, then OK, we get the file. If not, we wait another 20 seconds. This node downloads the audio once the file is ready. Let's save. Running it, the system has sent the text for voiceover. It waits for 20 seconds, and then it will ask if the result has been received. There's no point in checking immediately because SpeechGen takes a bit longer to voice long texts. It checked after 20 seconds. The status is not ready yet. It waits another 20 seconds. It's on its third loop without being ready set the interval to 40-60 seconds to cut down on retries. Look, it gets status 0. This means it's not ready yet. Status 1 means everything is ready. Here it says that 29 out of 30 sentences are ready. Excellent, it has voiced it. Now the file is downloading. The file has been downloaded. Your AI stills I've downloaded it and can now listen to it. Here I can download it. And the third option. This is all the same as with long text, but with splitting into segments. Now I'll also copy the token. Email. Pasting the token. Email. I'll take the text from here and paste it here. For clarity, I'll shorten the text. Here's what this mode does. When we insert the cut tag, it means the system will create a separate audio file from the segment that follows up to the tag. If you set a name, 
SpeechGen will create a file with that name. If there isn't one, the name will be in the form of numbers. For example, I'll create three names so I have three files. The instructions for the cut tags are at this address. You can review them in detail. Everything is written here with examples of how it all works. Everything is standard here. Waiting. Get results. Specify the token and email. Token. Email. Next, we have an additional node here. This is prepare cuts. This node prepares all the segments separately. This system already downloads all segments. Let's see what happens. All right, the node is running. Waiting 20 seconds. Edit fields. Status. We start waiting. 20 seconds have passed. And look. Here we received three segments. One, two, three. We have 13 out of 13 sentences ready. And we have three segments. Let's see. This node has split it into three files. So that three items can be downloaded. Let's see. Here also ID, segment number, and the name I specified. Very convenient for navigation. You can listen and download here. Here's a small example of how you can connect SpeechGen with Airtable. This table lists the voice actors for the text. For example, I want to voice a phrase with one voice and listen to how it sounds. Look, here's Airtable. Here's the authentication. Resource, record, search operation. And here, limit from SpeechGen list, and then table one. And here are 27 voices. Next, loop over. Takes one voice at a time. Here it makes a request. To hear how the phrase Bombardero Crocodilo will sound. Here I specified the post method. Address, token, email, all clear. Voice uses JSON name. Name is taken from here. Look, I'll run it now. Here's the name. Since loop over is set here, this name will be taken in order. First cycle. Next, save fields. Status. The file is obtained. Here we download it. Next, we download it to Dropbox. Here we connect the Dropbox account. File. Upload. In Dropbox, I've created a Voices folder where files will be saved under each voice's name. Be sure to select binary file. Let's run it. The started. Here it goes through the workflow. Look, it passes, writes a link to the table, and downloads to Dropbox. And so, it will generate a voiceover for each voice, then I can download it and use it somehow. Look, it goes through the workflow, passes Airtable, saves a link to the MP3 file, and downloads to Dropbox. So, I end up with both the link and I also have the file downloaded to Dropbox. The file is saved with the name I need the voice name and the ID of the voiced file. This way, everything is automated. I can generate a lot of audio automatically. Links to all these automations are in the description. Just download and import from the file. Just click here and import, and all these automations will appear in your N8N dashboard.